Welcome back to Life by Design, where I share practical tips to empower and uplift sensitives, empaths, and intuitives. Today I'm talking to you about the unconscious mind and the power that it has in creating transformation in a very quick and lasting way. In the work I do with neurolinguistic programming and hypnotherapy, a lot of my clients who have had success with their treatment is they've asked me why are more people not doing this type of therapy? And one of the reasons is because it deals with the unconscious mind. And I think most traditional therapies work with the conscious mind. And if we were to put a number to it, the unconscious mind is 90 plus percent of everything that we do from behaviors to thoughts, emotions, patterns that we have. And then you have the conscious mind, which is just a very small fraction of everything we do. And we could say that it's our thinking rational mind. And that's only you know 10% or even less than that of everything that we do. And so when we look at traditional therapy, we're working with that 10% or less, which is a very limited part of ourselves. When we work with the unconscious mind, there is a vast landscape that we are working with. And you know, I think a lot of people, it doesn't seem logical for them to use the unconscious mind. So that's one of the reasons. Uh, another reason is that the unconscious mind is mysterious and covert by nature. So sometimes people can be turned off by that. They can be anxious or nervous or fearful about what they'll find in the unconscious space. But what I want to reassure you with is that your unconscious mind heals in layers and it's not going to present anything to you for healing or work unless you are actually ready for it. Because one of the prime directives of the unconscious mind is to protect you and keep you alive. So it's not actually going to bring forth something that is going to destroy you. So we can just kind of cancel out that fear right there. Another reason why the unconscious mind um, is not really used or looked at in a traditional way is that it tends to bring about the change much more quickly. And this is what I love about the type of therapy that I do is that it's very fast um, and it doesn't require you to rehash any of the painful past. So a lot of times people have in their mind that if I'm creating strong lasting powerful transformation it has to be really difficult it has to take a really really long time and that's not entirely true you know i tend to attract people who want change who are ready for change right now and when people are in that space it's such a powerful place to be and so when we bring on the unconscious mind you're able to really create that change really really fast so it goes against what we're taught about personal development, which is that it has to be difficult. It has to take a long time. It requires a lot of work. And, you know, I would say there's a certain amount of, of work and showing up that is required, but not in the way where it's going to take years and years and years to be able to get a result. Another reason why the unconscious mind is often overlooked in healing and personal development is because people just don't know how to access it. And it's kind of ironic because there's so much that we do every single day that is unconscious from putting your pants on your left leg first to brushing your teeth to driving a car. Those things are all unconscious where you don't have to think about exactly what you're doing in order to perform that action. So when it comes to the unconscious mind and accessing behaviors, emotions, thinking patterns, things like that. Uh, people don't know exactly how to find what it is that they're working with because there's kind of a, a natural blind spot that we have because it's just so automatic, the behaviors, the belief systems, the emotions, that sometimes we're not able to see what's right in front of our nose. And so it helps to have someone that can facilitate that process for you to be able to identify what is it really at the root of the problems that I'm experiencing? Because what you'll find is they tend to connect up to one umbrella problem with all these other problems underneath it. That uh, if you were to solve that bigger problem, those problems underneath it would also resolve as well. So one of the reasons why is that people just don't know how to do it. They don't know how to access it. And if they do, they're not really sure 
sure how to make those changes at those deeper unconscious levels. And so that's where an NLP practitioner, um, a hypnotherapist can come in handy in assisting you with that transformation. Um, this type of work is not meant to be done on yourself. Uh, I think it works much faster and it's much more powerful if you can actually be facilitated through the process to be able to be there 100% for yourself and allow yourself to be supported in that way. If you're interested in the work that I do, there's information below about how to reach out to me for a free consultation. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.